Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sideload and install the latest version of Android onto your Google Pixel phone, most notably the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, other ones that are available as well. It's the same process. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're gonna to go to the Android development stuff. We're gonna get the software developer files and we're going to get the actual update file and we're going to install it. What you're going to need for this video is a laptop or a computer, you're going to need a USB cable to plug in from your computer to your phone. And of course you need your phone, your Pixel 6 or your Pixel 6 Pro. And we're gonna go ahead and do this with the latest update. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We're gonna do it step by step, hand walk you through this, and I can pretty much assure you'll be able to follow the instructions. I, I think I'll be able to do a good enough job. So that's what we're gonna do. Before we get into that though, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now, let's get to side loading. All right, so to get ready to side load the latest version of Android onto our Pixel phone, what you have to do is enable developer settings. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna go to your settings, and then you're gonna go down to right here where it says about phone. And then you're gonna scroll down here to where you see the build number. And this build number right here, see I'm, I've already enabled it. It says I'm already a developer. You have to tap on it like seven times in a row and you'll keep tapping like this until you get a pop-up that says congratulations, you know, your developer now it's in developer mode. That's the first thing you have to do. So put it in developer mode, and then we're gonna go check out the developer options because there's an option we have to turn on there. So we're gonna go back, and then now you're gonna to go to system. In system, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom until you see developer options. This wasn't here before. Since you enabled development mode, developer mode, click on this, and now we're gonna turn on USB debugging, and that's what we're gonna to wanna to do here. When you scroll down, right here, USB debugging. I had, this is gonna be off. You're gonna to have to turn this on. So turn it off, turn it on. This is gonna tell you right here, it's intended for development purposes. Use it to copy data between your computer and your device. Okie dokie, cool. Just hit okay. All right, so now we have our phone set up. We're a developer, developer mode is turned on and we have USB debugging on. So now that we've done that, we're going to get a USB cable and connect it to the computer. So I have mine right here already. One thing that you don't need, you, it doesn't have to use that crazy little USB adapter, the one that turns like a USB-A to USB-C that comes in the box so you can transfer data. You can use just a normal USB-C to USB-C. If you've got a laptop, you can use a USB-A to USB-C, whatever. All right, now that we've got our computer set up, we're going to plug in our phone to the computer using the USB-C cable. And then you should see this little icon up there, that little weird icon look that Android looking icon, that means USB debug debugging is connected. That's what you wanna see. That means that there's a successful connection between your phone and the computer. So now that we've done that, we've set up our phone, we've got it in debugging mode, we've got it plugged in, we've confirmed with that icon that we have the connection. The next thing we need to do is we need to download the software. What we wanna do here is we wanna to go to the developer.android.com website. This is for Android developers. This is where you get everything that you need. This is where we get the software developer kit, SDK, platform tools, and release notes. So you'll see right here, you'll see these downloads, these download options. You have SDK platform tools for Windows, Mac, and for Linux. I'm on a PC, so I'm gonna download it for Windows. I'm running Windows 10. It should also work with Windows 11. And then if you have a Mac, you can use that one. So just click on it, and then you got to agree to this stuff. Down here at the bottom, click the checkbox and then download Android Software Development Kit Platform, SDK, Software Development Kit. And you'll see down here, it'll download. And then once it downloads, it's a zip file. So we're gonna have to extract the zip file. I recommend extracting it. Create a folder on your, on your C drive called ADB, Alpha Delta Bravo, and we're gonna put everything in there. All right, so what you're gonna do is go ahead and click on the zip file. You can see right here, we've got the folder open now. We've got this platform tools folder. So what you're gonna do is scroll down here, right click on explore the folder, open a new file explorer icon, and then we're gonna go over here to this PC, 
over here on the left, click on this PC, then you'll have you should have a folder that says your C drive. Every computer has a C drive, right? So once we do that, we're going to create a folder and I've already got the folder called ADB. So you're going to create a folder and then just call it ADB, ADB. That's what we want the folder to be called. You can call it whatever you want. This is just easy for continuity purposes. So once you create that folder, you're going to be good to go. Open the folder and then you want to drag and drop. So you've got your other window open, drag and drop this platform tools over here to the folder and we'll copy it right here. It says 1994 files. It doesn't take too terribly long to do this. So no big deal there. We just have to get it set up. And once that gets moved over, you'll see it in this folder and it's going to be all these little files right here. Now I was a little confused by this at first. You don't actually ever need to click on and open any of these files. The, I was trying for like 10 minutes. I'm like, why can't I open this? Why can't I open this? You don't actually open them. You use them through command prompts. Now that we've got everything in our folder, we're going to open up the command prompt. So go down here to the search bar and type in command and you'll see it'll pop up command prompt. We're just going to click on that open. And for those of you who know this as the DOS screen, MS DOS, <laughs> this is where it allows you. This is what computers were like back in the day. We've got to do some typing. So thankfully, I still remember all the DOS commands from whenever I was like two using a computer that had no hard drive. It was all floppies. So since we have that drive, we're already on C drive. That's our local drive. So you don't need to worry about changing directory. We created the folder called ADB, right? So CD, which means change directory, space, C colon slash or backslash A D B. And then you see over here on the left. Now you see ADB. We're in the folder ADB. So that's good. So now we've got our phone connected. It's been connected. We want to check the connection before we get started with doing anything else, right? We want to make sure that it works. So we're going to type ADB space devices. Oops, let me type that right. And we're going to hit enter. And it's going to tell us list of devices attached. It's right here. It shows the phone right here. So it'll tell you the serial number that's associated with the phone. It is connected. It is there. If you don't have it connected, it will not list anything there. So we've got this one device. It'll give you a little error thing and tell you there's nothing connected. So if you see this right there, that's good to go. That means your phone is ready to accept the update. Now we need to get the update file. Where do you get the update file? Well, now I'm going to show you where to get the update file. And in case you can't follow along, I'm, I'm trying to tell these phonetically so you can see what the actual link is you need to use. But I'll also have the links down in the drop down in the description of this video. So you can click on that and that will take you directly to where you need to be. So now we're going to go and we're going to download the software update. That's the next step here. So let's download the software update. All right, so now that we're we are connected, we're ready to go. Our phone is ready to receive the update. What we need to do is get the actual file. So to get the actual file, here's the link. I'm going to tell you developers.google.com slash Android slash OTA. And you'll find this link down in the description of the video. So you can click on it. It'll take you right here. Now we need to search through the file that we need to update our phone. Today, we're going to do the Pixel 6. This one is called Oriole. And then if you scroll down, you see the Pixel 6 Pro is called Raven. And then Pixel 5a is Barbette. And then Redfin for Pixel 5. So find your appropriate Pixel phone. This will work for any Pixel phone. And then we need to scroll down. So, so you can look at the file here. And at the end of the file extension, the description, you can see what the different areas for EMEA, that's Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And then here, US means the United States. Right here means AU is Australia. So make sure you get the right one for you and just click on the link right here. And then it'll start downloading below. So again, make sure you get the proper update that you want to install for the purposes today. This is the December one, but if you're seeing this six months from now, maybe it's the July one or the June one or whatever it is, make sure you get the right one, make sure you get the right one for your region. And that's how you're going to know the one to download for your phone. So once you get it downloaded, You'll have to move the file into a folder. And this is actually going to be pretty simple. So I've already got the file down here in my folder. 
I just have it sitting straight on my C drive. I didn't even put it in a folder. So it's on the C drive. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the command prompt. We're going to check one more time to make sure our phone is still connected because if it disconnected, you know, we're going to have issues installing it, right? So we're going to type in ADB devices again. And there we go. We see, we see the serial for it. We've got our device connected. So now that we're ready to install our software, we're going to have to type in another command and it's going to be ADB reboot recovery. So ADB reboot recovery. And we're going to hit enter and you're going to see something happen here on this phone, right? Watch this. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to send the command and it reset the phone and it's going to reboot in recovery mode. So that way we can follow the next steps to install the software update. So, that's the next thing. It's supposed to look like this. You see the little Android with his little canister open, error, no command. So what we're gonna do now is hold down the power button and press the up volume. It's gonna bring us to this menu. So what we need to do here, you can use the volume rocker and that's gonna move it in between fields. So you're gonna scroll down till you get to apply update from ADB and then you hit the power button to accept that. And now it's going to say, now send the package you want to apply. And it tells you exactly right here, ADB sideload, and then the file name. Well, if we remember that sideload file name was really, really long, right? So ADB sideload, go to that folder, grab that file and drag it over here to the command prompt. And it's going to put the name of the file right there. So all you have to do now is hit enter. I've already updated mine. I'm not going to hit enter again. I don't want to mess it up, but whenever you hit enter, it's going to start installing the file onto your phone. And then once it's done installing, then you're good to go. You don't have anything else to do anymore and you'll be good to go. And that was the last thing that we needed to do. Once we hit enter on that file, it starts the installation process. Wait for the installation process to complete. Once it's done, you have an option to reboot the phone, reboot the phone. You can unplug the cable after that and then you're done. Your phone will finish installing just like it would had you downloaded it the normal way through the normal update and updated your phone and your phone is now done. All right, so now we've got the latest version of Android running on our Pixel phone. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult. Hopefully I made it as easy as possible. Whole process took less than an hour with the included installation. It wasn't I had to figure this out on my own and create these steps for my own video so I could show you guys how to do it. I was kind of proud of myself. I mean, I've never done this before, so with no experience, I'm a pretty moderate user when it comes to computer stuff. I've got a lot of background. I think just about anybody can do this. Hopefully you didn't have any problem getting through it. And just as a warning, always be careful with what you're loading. Make sure you load the proper software. Make sure you're not trying to load the Canadian version on your North American model. Make sure you're not trying to load the European one on your Canadian Pixel. Make sure you have the right software. You can see that in the list when you go download it from the Google website, Android developer website. So everything you need is there, all the tools, and hopefully your phone is nice and successfully updated. Also, another thing to be careful of, always pay attention to what's going on with the software. This particular model, we're, what, the second week of December now, this is the big patch that's supposed to fix all these hundred different things for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Be careful because there are people that are saying that there are problems with this and this is something you need to be careful with because you don't want to cause any problems if it's a bad software update and you install it on your phone if they're not pushing it over the air yet you, know, you could end up with those issues on your phone and quite honestly i don't know how to go backwards <laughs> so uh, that might be another video but in this one i wanted to show you because sometimes people want to they hold off they want to download them and upload them themselves they want to do it before it's available a lot of times these files come out so this gives you an extra level of tools in your tool belt to do cool things with your phone if you brick it don't blame me <laughs> uh, with what i've showed you it shouldn't be a problem but just be careful because whenever you're doing these things you can cause damage to your phone if you stay within the lines do what you're supposed to do don't unplug your phone or turn it off halfway through the installation process you should be fine, but these are just a couple of warnings just to make sure. Make sure you're installing the right file. Make sure the file doesn't have problems, the update doesn't have problems, and then follow the steps, okay? So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.